anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well, Jared. Doing pretty well. How are you doing this fine evening? You know, um, why, 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 why is Forrest Gump yelling? I was about to say I don't have any complaints, but now I'm I'm curious why why Forrest Gump is yelling Alabama in the in the chat right now. I don't know. You tell no. me, Jared. Now Georgia. Hey, someone time out. Uh, welcome Kabuda for me. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> apparently his name now zach all right so this is our uh, collegiate chaos episode where we uh cover all of the other games that is not ohio state uh from this last weekend uh so week five we saw a lot of team chaos moments oh don't uh, actually lot, time him out i was kidding <laughs> a lot of <laughs> A lot of top 25. No, seriously, uh, save him, save him. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of top 25 losses from last weekend. And this one, not not as many, but there was definitely some team chaos moments uh, this week, this last weekend. And we'll we'll get right into it, Jared. Sound like a good plan? Yep. Um, but we're should, ne- we're start should off- never have given them mod powers, should never have given them mod powers. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want to start gonna, with the chaos or do you just want to work your way through the day chronologically? Uh, we're just going to go through the day chronologically. And um, maybe I'm maybe maybe I'm second guessing myself because the first game here is uh, <clears throat> uh, Nebraska and Rutgers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Starting off strong. <laughs> yeah. You got you know, you got to you got you got to start your day with a little bit of Nebraska and Rutgers. You know, you can't you can't start the day like eating donuts or I guess. Yeah, yeah, you can. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> I, what, what, what do you want me to say about Nebraska and Rutgers? Is this a Tuesday recording? It sure is. Yes. Uh, Nebraska got the win. Is what you can say, Jared. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Ohio State's streak of beating teams twice continues, something we were talking about on the Monday episode. So pray for Sparty next week, whoever they play. Uh, Didn't they have a bye week? Do they they also have a bye bye week? week? I'm going to look. They, nope. Um, (laughs) They they get to play Wisconsin. So watch, watch Wisconsin win that game. Like just just bet the house on it. Don't 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 bet anything. <laughs> don't on it. don't please. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Nebraska Nebraska getting getting the win there. I what is it now? They are they are tied for first in the uh, in the West Division right now, Jared. <laughs> that whole West Division is just dog crap right now. Yeah, they are. They are two. No, yeah, exactly. They are two and zero oh in conference after uh, the defrosting. Yeah, um, Kyle, Purdue also beat Maryland in. Uh, I mean, so like you were talking a little bit of shit on the Big Twelve, or excuse me, the Big Twelve, the Big Ten West. Well, guess what? Purdue takes down Maryland. So. Hey, right, that. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Three way tie, I, Illinois, Purdue, Nebraska. Yes. All right. Uh, all right. The it is Maryland, to be fair. Yeah, but Kirk Herbstreet told me that Maryland can score however many points they want to score. So, and if Kirk Herbstreet said it, then it's true. But, yeah. Jared, you're, you're, you're not going to know that because uh, he has you, has you blocked on Twitter. He does. Yes, <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> all right. Uh, TCU. Uh, defeats Kansas 38 to 31. Uh, hands Kansas their first loss of the year. And how about the how about those horned, horned frogs now, Jared? Should we start? Should we start taking TCU seriously no. now? No. No. Why, why is that? Tell me why. I'm convinced that the entire Big Twelve is a is a trash heap. That's it. That's, that's it. That that's 
That's the tweet, as as we were say a couple years ago. Yeah, that that's it. OK State might be legit. Eh. They, I don't they, know. they may be. They, they might be. But I mean, next week you got TCU and Oklahoma State. That's it's a big time game there. Actually, all three of these teams who are. Uh, wow. All three of these teams, TCU, Oklahoma State and Kansas State. They all pretty much play each other these next two weeks here. It's we're, we're going to find out who's who's good and and who's um, uh, not fortunate to win those games here in the coming weeks. Uh, Austin so yeah, says, we'll, we'll, but Jared, everyone sucks. Oh, OK, that's fair. That's all, honestly, that's <laughs> fair. Um, Gangland says Kirk Street called Josh Fryer, Josh Proctor. Uh, he also called Dallin Hayden, Dallas Hayden. So and, and that he followed him throughout his um, recruiting, like when he was in high school too. Kirk Herb Street's never <laughs> logged on to a recruiting page in his life. I he, it will never if that when when he was oh Joe Burrow transfers from Ohio State, he was just a little old two star from Southeast Ohio. He was fucking Mr. Football in a pretty highly ranked four star. Kirk Curb Street. Right. <laughs> Kirk Curb Street knows as much recruiting as my left pinky. Speaking of uh speaking of little pinky here, uh Oklahoma couldn't even score a single point. I, I don't know that that transition is bad, but either way, Oklahoma not scoring a single point in the Red River rivalry against Texas. 49 to nothing. Is Texas for real, Jared? Is Texas back? They're a lot better without yours, or excuse me, with yours, excuse me. Um, or a lot, uh, I still think, I still think, and I you know, dare you to prove me wrong uh, here. That Austin, do you want me, do you want me to say that? I dare you to prove me wrong. Texas beats Alabama. If, if Ewers doesn't get hurt. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, I think if Ewers didn't get, if Ewers didn't get hurt. Yeah. I, I feel that Texas would have, um, would have beaten Alabama there. Uh, who else did they lose to? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Who, who else did they lose to? It was, um, oh yeah, that's right. Texas tech. That, that was just a uh, game for for Texas here. But every all the other games, they've they've looked really good here. So I think it's a mix that I think Texas is actually um, a pretty good team, but also that, um, that Oklahoma sucks. Yeah. OK. All right. Moving on. Uh, speaking of teams that suck, uh, Indiana. Uh, Indiana, uh, right there with Michigan towards the yeah. end. And then Michigan scores a couple of late touchdowns towards the end of the game to win 31, 10, but it was a close game. Was it? It was, it was a close game. If I you know. look at it, it was a close game, but <laughs> Michigan did at the end. Um, I, I um, never win. I, 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 let me, let me, I'm, I'm just here. I'm just saying Let watching the game I never once thought Indiana had a chance outside of it was, like it was it was 10 to 10 okay it was 10 to 10 at halftime end of the third quarter it was it was um 17 to 10 G going into the fourth quarter 17 to 10 those are different Michigan, questions Michigan Jared. scores That's a touchdown awesome. yep, Michigan scores a touchdown with nine minutes left and then scores one with under three minutes left making it look a much better um looking much better for michigan than it really was though but 17 to 10 going into the fourth quarter with arguably probably one of one of the worst big 10 teams yeah no no, no I'm, not, I'm not trying to defend michigan i'm just saying watching the i i get it like it was a technically a close game at the end of the third it was only a touchdown but just watching the game like I just never had any faith that Indiana was actually going to close, close it out. It's just, it didn't feel, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel good. The run game got blown up by Indiana. Yeah. I, yeah, it's, I've been 
trying to tell everyone and everyone got all fucking hyped up on Michigan because they trashed some of the worst teams in college football. They're not that good. Like, just to say it as plainly as possible, they're not that good. No. Their defense is athletic. Um, they, but they, they get their they get their very first. And I do here. like their offensive line. Yeah, they get their very first test. Um, seventh week into uh, into the season here. They get to host Penn State. Next weekend, so we're going to find out right here, right here, right then. Both of these teams, Michigan, Penn State. All right, uh, next game, Tennessee and LSU. No idea why LSU was ranked. They're not a good team this year. Maybe because they're they're in a they're in a tough conference, and every game is tough in the SEC. But either way, uh, LSU bad team gets demolished by Tennessee, forty to thirteen. Yeah, um, I. How LSU got ranked, and I get it. They only had one loss, but. LSU's I I don't care if they were what were they four and one three and whatever the hell they were is a shit team LSU's terrible this year but their one loss was the Florida State who was unranked yes but they have famous underwear yeah Florida State isn't ranked but the branding (laughs) What? Whatever. I'm just the famous laundry, famous uniforms. I said <laughs> underwear in a failed attempt to be funny. It mostly just came across as confusing. Mm-hmm. But ten- Tennessee, though, I, I really got to talk about Tennessee here a little bit here. Uh, I mean, they got the big matchup this weekend against Alabama. Uh, they do have them home. It is home for um, against Alabama. But yeah, Tennessee had a had a uh, good win the start of the year against Pitt and then beat up Akron. They barely beat Florida, not, not a great team and, and destroyed LSU. But yeah, um, Tennessee though, Jared is Tennessee is Tennessee really legit this year, this year. Like I, I know a uh, uh, hooker, their quarterback is doing really well. I'm just looking up his stats right now. 70% completion for the year. Uh, 10, tu- 10 touchdowns, no interceptions for the year. Yeah. is Do you think Tennessee might be able to pull it off this weekend? Yeah, I think they can. And, and by the way, I also don't think Tennessee is like amazing. You but know what I mean? They're better than they have been for many, many years. Yeah. 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 This is the best Tennessee squad we've seen in a while. Since 99? I, I I don't know. Um, I'm going to say it qui- say this quietly because it feels wrong, but Tennessee should be favored after after Alabama's previous um, performances. Uh, yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Alabama's played now. They've played a team with a pulse against Texas. And because who else have they played? Like this is their these are their only two. Is it wasn't there like a Arkansas, Arkansas, yeah, and Texas, Arkansas, yeah, Arkansas, Texas? You know, yeah, they, okay. they didn't look great against Arkansas. Arkansas is not a good team either. No, no, they are not. And I'm just saying they've played a team with a pulse three times, and they didn't look like Bama in any three of those games. I mean, the go. I mean, this last week, um, Alabama did um, wasn't without their um, uh, without Bryce Young. So yes, that is that is a significant uh, blow, but but still, but the, it, it, but but we still basically saw the same Bama team that we saw against Arkansas and in Texas, though, right? Um, yeah. With but, all but, due respect to Bryce Young, he's he's good. He's he's very good, even. But I guess yeah, I guess we'll jump jump up a little bit here. But yeah, Alabama barely beating Texas A&M twenty four to twenty, and really that's Texas what I A&M wanted to say, Austin. I just stopped myself. Texas A and M, 
they kept shooting themselves in the foot. They just had dumb penalties towards the end and an even dumber um, play call <laughs> to end the game there as well. Yeah, they should they should have won. Yeah. The, the, but, what the fucking final play? Two two things. One, they should have, 100 percent should have gone back and added three more seconds onto the clock. After the interception that wasn't, there should have been six seconds on the clock. Texas AM should have had two opportunities. So that's on the refs. That's a that's a fuck up. But you're given one chance, one opportunity. I just almost went straight into an Eminem song there for a second. And your your play is to throw the ball short of the end zone. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Yes. Mom's it's spaghetti indeed. All over their sh all over their jerseys. By the way, uh, when we were um when we were in the Discord chatting during the Ohio State game, we were predicting how they were going to score their next touchdown because they were like inside the five, maybe even uh maybe the ten. And I was just like play action, boot, roll out. To the tight end. And I was just like, yeah, I got it. I'm just saying, like, if you don't. <laughs> that was Ohio State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, All right. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying, though, because, like, I know Ohio State probably has, like, five different concepts that they run inside the, the five yard line essentially even if they all look slightly different i knew which one it was going to be and like i guess the point is that ohio state scores when when they can and they wouldn't have at any point decided to throw the ball to cade stover at the one yard line diving out of bounds and yet jared somehow number seven shut up <laughs> All right, let me let me move on here because there, there are a few more games we need to get to. So I'm just going to run off a few of these here, Jared. If you have a sentence or two, feel free to chime in here. Um, Mississippi State, uh, and talking about Arkansas before, how bad they are. <laughs> uh, Mississippi State destroys Arkansas 40 to 17. Where's, uh, where's Mississippi State ranked now? Did they, did they get an SEC bump? Oh, look, you're an SEC team who decimated a different sec team therefore you must be in the top 15 now oh uh, let's see let's see they're, they were 23rd they were 23rd they, they were they 23rd going in they are 16th now <laughs> i was one away oh i was one away oh god all right uh cincinnati uh Defeat South Florida 28 to 24, but only goes up three in the rankings, Jared. Yeah, you know, it's just sort of. Yeah, it is what it is. By the way, we were in the uh, sloop picks last week and we were discussing like possible upsets. And oh, Esquire's not in here. Esquire mentioned this one. I'm like, no, 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 no. South Florida's terrible. Yikes, Cincinnati. Yikes. Yeah. All right, By the way, how did we do on those, Kyle? I for, I, I honestly forget who I picked. <laughs> I honestly forgot who I picked. I think I think I think I I think I not those. Off. The we, we are uh choose your chaos. I think I went all in um on because I did a I did a high rank one. I I don't remember. Was it who. Indiana? No, <laughs> God no. We'll have to go back and check. Was yeah, it I have to check. I, I don't. Oh yeah, it was Kentucky. Yes, it was Kentucky. <laughs> I, I believe it was Kentucky. So I like. No, we're we're checking receipts. We're okay, checking receipts. 
No, I don't. I don't think it was Kentucky. <laughs> All right, um, move, moving on. Either way, um, Oklahoma State uh, beats Texas Tech forty-one to thirty-one because you know Big Twelve shootout. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Texas Tech could have won this game. They obviously don't win this game. Uh, Oklahoma State survives a uh, a scare. Uh, Wisconsin uh, finding their groove here, um, beating up a really probably the worst Big Ten team this year uh, in Northwestern, forty-two to seven. No, no words for Jared. All right, uh, <laughs> just keep going. Just keep going. All right, all right. UCLA, UCLA beats Utah, forty-two to thirty-two. Um, yeah, the UCLA, where, where are they ranked now? They were 18th coming into this. We we speculated uh, during the social screen that Utah and UCLA were just going to swap rankings. Let me let me set let me set, let me set the stage here, Jared. So we have here Mississippi State was 23rd and beat a non rank team and yeah. moved up uh, seven spots. Me too, no man. UCLA. UCLA beats a team ranked higher than them by seven spots. It moves up seven spots. And and where did and where did Utah fall to? Utah fell to twentieth. So yeah, I mean we were we were mostly right, guys. We close. I feel that's we that's close. close enough to a swap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, UCLA undefeated here and that, that's probably one of the big surprises this year is how how well UCLA is looking and offensively one of one of the best offense at least in production here in the country here uh 45 45 32 45 40 42 what is it what is that um about 40 40 points a game there yeah there and then they get to play well they get the week off and then they get to play Oregon here and I think somebody said it here and I would uh, I would love to see it too. Um, uh, one a UCLA, I want an undefeated UCLA and an undefeated USC. I, I want to see that too. Yes. Um, all right, uh, Kyle, we might need to move a little quick, quicker right. so we can get to the um. Sure. So, all right, Georgia defeats Auburn forty-two to ten. Uh, Georgia's by the way, Georgia's fantastic at being really in a really tight game at the end of the third quarter, then scoring a bunch of fourth quarter points every, yes. every week to make it look like they blew out the team when they only kind of did. Yep. Uh, North Carolina beat Miami 27 to 24. Uh, Washington ranked team lost to Arizona state 45 to 38. And that's, yeah, that's, that's a, yeah, that's a bad loss for Washington. That That, that is a bad loss. By the way, I'm, I am noticing a trend of teams firing their head coach and then immediately winning some games. Just saying, Arizona yeah. State, Wisconsin, Nebraska. I'm just I saying. Guess, yeah. I'm just saying. All right, uh, Ole Miss. Ole Miss beats Vanderbilt 52 to 28. I think that was another close game. Yeah, it was. No, Vanderbilt was winning, and then Ole Miss, kind of similar to like Georgia, decided, hey, let's. Let's actually score some points here. And and they did in the second half. Uh, Clemson beats Boston College. It's, it's similar again. It was like a 10-3, 13-3 halftime score. And then Clemson's yeah. like, hey, let's let's score some points. They did the same thing too. Uh, yeah, it, Kansas, to be fair, Clem, the Clemson one feels a little bit more like the Michigan one where even though the score was close, it just, I never really, never really felt it. Yeah. Uh, Kansas State uh, beats Iowa State in a non-Big 12 uh, fashion, uh, 10 to 9. Both of these teams doing their best to look as Big 10 as possible so as to not get left out in the next expansion. Okay. Yeah, kind of like this game here where Illinois beats Iowa 9 to 6. Or excuse me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, me, let, me, let me correct that. Iowa loses to Illinois 6 to 9. This is a real nice game. <laughs> very nice game uh usc beats washington state 30 to 14 usc and ucla both future big 10 teams undefeated going into week seven uh 
probably the biggest uh, team chaos moment here, Jared. The Gamecocks defeating Kentucky twenty-four to fourteen. That's a bad. That's a bad loss for yep. Kentucky and. Uh, well, you know, it's Kentucky, another one of these teams. I don't know. Like, who who do you think is better? And they're, and they're still Kentucky ranked. or? Yeah, I'm sure they are. They but like, be ranked. Kentucky. Yeah. Eh. Is it, that's their. Is that their first loss? No, that's their second. It's their se- it's their second loss. Yeah. Their their best wins is over Miami, a bad Florida team, Youngstown State, and Northern Illinois. No, no, sorry. Where are they ranked? Uh, they are ranked 22nd. Kyle, we've had this conversation a dozen times. There aren't 25 top 25 teams. You're going to have some real turds in the in the 20 to 25 range. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's see. Notre Dame mentioned them a little bit here. Notre Dame beats BYU 28 to 20. It's a. It's their biggest win of the year here. Biggest win for uh, Marcus Freeman in his um in his early tenure at Notre Dame. Here, um, is this the turning point for Notre Dame? Possibly. It depends on how serious you take BYU. Um, you know, Austin said there aren't even thirteen top twenty-five teams. There are like twelve decent teams. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and BYU is not one of those teams like college football. Like it, it's like three teams and then a couple more teams. And then it's just like a wash of mediocrity past that. Fair. Speaking That's of fair. North Carolina State picks up uh, their. Their loss is that their second loss now, right, Kyle? No, they're North Carolina State won. God damn it. That's right. Let, let, let me let me do the talking, Jared. Uh, <laughs> yes, please. North Carolina State. Uh, I'll just I'm going to take Florida, this segment beat, off. Yeah, beats Florida State 19 to 17. Again. By the way, the not, chat, I, the chat knows why I fucked it up. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't cover. cover. Yes. They didn't cover. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's still I, I I'm, I'm off. I'm off the. I'm off the wagon here for for the Wolf Pack. I, I thought this would have been a a pretty good team here. Yeah, they're still they're still ranked. Um, I think they dropped a, a they dropped a 15th here, but I I had high hopes of how well NC State was going to do this year with offensive lines playing terrible, receivers are having a hard time catching the ball, and now and now their now their quarterbacks hurt. I don't know. I didn't see how hurt he he is or will be but um well here it is so uh larry's uh shoulder hit the x-rays were negative i don't know how long he's going to be out but x-ray the only thing x-ray really tells you is that nothing's yeah. either like broken or out of the socket like it doesn't do shit for ligaments and whatnot so it doesn't necessarily mean anything mm-hmm. how, how'd i do on that one gangland how, how was i Give me great grade my medical assessment there. Sure. All right. In the in the last in the last sure. game here. He gives me a Oregon, sure. Yeah. Oregon defeats Arizona 49 to 22. And or, Oregon making it making a good comeback after their um humiliating loss in week one there. Uh putting up tons of points. They only put up three points against Georgia, and then all of a sudden, uh 70, 41, 44, 45, 49. Making up some ground there. Yeah, it, it's. I don't know. It, I don't know if they can work their back their way back into the playoff conversation because of the nature of their loss. Am I? Is that fair? Eh, I mean, we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Po- I mean, possibly. I mean, for the teams that's ahead right now, it it, it is hard unless some. Um, uh, team chaos uh, starts taking more souls. Yeah, I, I mean it, it, it's it's like what it's like what we said, Jared. You get one Mario man. 
They get one yeah, I know, but good. remember that time that Ohio State only lost once but didn't get into the playoffs, and it was because they got embarrassed? They got slaughtered by Iowa? Or was it, or is that the Purdue year? I forget. Uh, it was Purdue. Okay. All right, Kyle, let's get to the tier list. Sure thing. Um, I don't, it's, it's centering weird. Hold on. Hey, There's I'm Kyle. there twice. You're, you're in the picture <laughs> twice. More Kyle. I mean, guys, that's just what everyone wants is more Kyle though, right? Am I, am I not just giving everyone exactly what they want? I'm just going to go back to the way it was before. I, whatever. All right. Who cares? It's fine. It's not, it's just not centered and it was bothering me, but I'm going to have to get over it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think right off the top here, Jared, because this is just me being anal, but swap, swap the G and the O in the S tier. Hells yeah. We don't normally do that toward until the end, but you know what? Fuck it. We're doing it. Feels good. Feels right. And I, I agree. Keep those four there. Solid. I, I agree with that. Oh. I don't think you, I don't think you need to change change any of the other. I don't think you need to change any of the other ones right now. I'm just not even gonna bother yeah. to change your the drop shadow version. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the A tier here. Uh, last week we had USC, Michigan, Tennessee, and Oklahoma State. You know, I, I don't disagree with that. I, th I think, I think you would keep those all there as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not as high on Oklahoma State, but yeah, I'm not going to drop them off either. Um, I think keeping them to the right is, is the correct call. Seriously drop Bama TCU to a tier UCLA to a tier. Um, I'm not so, going to so drop. Here, I'm not going to so drop. There's a, there's a ton not, of, hold on, there's a hold ton on, hold on. I'm not going to drop Bama. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. drop Bama. We have to have four. We have to have four in the in the S tier. Those are the rules. We have to have our top four in the S tier. And I don't know who you'd replace them with, because while I yeah. think Bama is flawed, and I do, and we, you know, we'll see. Like they play Tennessee in a week, so we'll see. All right, and then the A tier here, I, I can't just put all of the undefeated teams in the A tier, so then I have to put in Ole Miss and Penn State and UCLA and TCU. Well, hold on. Let's just take it one at a time. Um, no, nah, you don't have to. Yes, I do. Those are the rules. We're sticking to the rules. Um, TCU and UCLA, I think, are two good places to start from a bitch you were talking to Kyle. Why am I still catching strays then? All right. Uh, UCLA and TCU, I think, are uh, good places to start, Kyle. Um, does UCLA, after taking Utah completely off the field, um, like it ends up being a 10-point game. Yeah. It was a bigger so, win than that. I mean, they, they, they had two. Um, it was almost It was almost identical scores here. They beat. Uh, then 15th ranked Washington, 40 to 32, and then beat then 11th ranked Utah, 42 to 32. So, I'm, and then and then they have a bye week, and then they get to play Oregon next. Uh, yeah, I I don't. You know what? You know what? Screw it, Jared. Put UCLA up in the A tier. Let's put let's put the Bruins I, up there. Put the put both California teams up there. I I I think them beating you or beating Utah as convincingly as they did. Yeah, I think it's back a, back to back top 15 teams and you beat them beat them by 10 plus points each. 10 points and 10 points plus either way. Yeah. At least 10 points. Yeah. Kyle, yeah, I'm, TCU. I'm, fine, I'm fine with putting them at, at 10th or in the A tier. TCU. Right, let me pull. Let me pull up TCU here. So they they beat then ranked uh, Oklahoma fifty five to twenty four, and then beat then nineteenth Kansas thirty eight to thirty one. It's another. Uh, it's two top twenty teams that you beat. I 
I don't know. I, I'm on the fence here. I'm on the fence, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it just because I was never in on the Kansas hype as much as, as anyone else wanted me to be. If yeah, I'm TCU, just being honest. TCU almost... TCU almost has a good, um, as good of a resume as UCLA, but I mean UCLA had 11th and 15th um, ranked teams, and TCU have um, 18th and 19th ranked teams. So yeah, almost, almost, but uh, they're 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 on the cusp here. They're on the cusp. If if they beat if they beat Oklahoma State here, absolutely they they move they move way into the A tier then. All right. Uh, so some other teams here we have ranked in the B tier. So Penn State, I don't think I want to move them to the A tier yet. No. If they if they if they win this weekend, absolutely. Yeah. Ole Miss. No, they can they can stay where they're at. Okay. Um. What about uh? Well, uh, Kentucky, 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 Kentucky. You move them out. You move them out. Uh, same with oh, Kansas has one loss. Kansas has one loss. Hmm. But they're Kansas. I know. Don't you touch my Jayhawks. <laughs> it was a good loss. It's a Big 12, not the SEC. Um, I'm just going to move them to the far right okay. side. I'm going to make I'm going to make sure TCU. It's and on uh, the far left side. B- BYU, I think BYU can move away. I think you can move them out. Yeah. Uh, who who are we missing? Not even over there. I don't think. I, I guess. I guess. I guess the team we haven't added in here. I'm not high on them, but they. I mean, they're they're winning games. I guess is um Mississippi State. Hey, Jared, shut up. Thanks, Kaylin. Hey, Illinois, Illinois. Hold on, hold on. Mississippi, Mississippi State here. I think, I think you got to probably put them up to B tier. They are, they are five and one. So I, I guess you put them in there somewhere. Mm. I don't care, just somewhere. <sighs> sure. Um, putting them in B is a waste. Um, they will eventually be back in C. You're. I noticed that I put them all the way on the right side, and like we don't have. <laughs> Kyle's an SEC sympathizer. Uh-oh, right, uh oh, you're getting called out, c- Kyle. Couple, couple I'll, I'll address that here soon. Uh, all right. Um, some other teams here. Texas, you want to put Texas up here, or not yet? Who have they uh, wins and losses? Who who do they have? All right, let me let me pull them up real quick here. So losses Alabama and Texas Tech, and their wins is really the only good wins were these last weeks, which is you know you know what they can stay where they're at. Uh, it's West Virginia and uh, that Oklahoma victory last weekend. Yeah, I tell you what, I'll, I'll move them over to the left side of the middle tier, but that's about, it's about, about as much as I've given them. Okay. Um, I think who you can move over to the left there, Jared. I, I don't even see their icon here. Where, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Oh, never mind. You already moved them over. Never mind. I was gonna say, where's that orange eye? Where's that orange eye color or orange eye? Icon this is, at? this is their old logo, by the way. Um, yes. their, their new I got, I got orange is there. much darker. Where's Vandy? <laughs> I don't know. Where is Vandy? Um, I guess the other team we don't have, I, you, you should move them into B tier just because of how they um, are ranked right now. Probably, probably Wake Forest. They're, they're, they are they are pretty high ranked in the uh, in the polls here. They're they're fourteenth, and we and we have teams. That, I don't want teams. That, do we have to conform to the polls? No, we don't. All right. I'll, All right, convince me. I'll, convince me otherwise, Jared. Convince me to not put no, them in the B tier. No, you have to make the case why they should be in the B tier. Who, who are their wins? Who are their losses? 
That's not how this works. You're the one saying we should change what is. You have to make that case. All right. They beat. They are four. They are five and one. They are five and one. They only lost to um, Clemson by six points. If you remember, that was that high score in 51. Uh, are, to we are we good lossing? Are we doing the good, good loss thing? It was a good loss. They did have a um, they have a win against Florida State. They have a win against Vanderbilt. And they did they did um, beat out a uh, an army team, too, which which is one of the things that you always talked about. Don't don't play the um, army. Yeah, but everyone team. wins. But everybody, you used to, everyone looks looked shitty, good. but wins. They actually looked good in that game. Fair enough. Um, sure. Who you the can hell? put them in the far back. C tier, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who was I? Would you say Wake Forest? Where is Wake? I'm trying to find Wake Forest. Down the very bottom right. Very bottom right. Nope. Not that one, Jared. Uh, yeah. It, sometimes the font is skinny and that makes it difficult. Uh, the only, only other undefeated team that I see on my list here, Jared, and I know you do not have an icon for them. Uh, is but I do not want to, I do not. Yep. And I do not want to move them to the B tier. So. <laughs> why why <laughs> all right um guys uh in the chat uh hawaii is b tier for d3 you <laughs> no, no, not yukon either <laughs> where what's what's currently wrong with our tier list um, oh yeah northwestern needs to go to the m tier <laughs> no 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 m m tier is something special you have to have been you have to like be failing expectation to get into M tier. There was no expectation for for uh, anyone. Should, should should Notre Dame be moved out of M tier? No. With with their win against BYU. No. I think so. I'm getting. Chat, they're saying yes. Chat, chat agrees with me. Should a single win over BYU, who was fine, rectify the slide that they went down after Ohio State? Bama will go 10 and 2 at best. I kind of don't disagree with you. All right. What, what, what team are you talking about, Jared? Texas you're, you're... A&M out of M tier? No, no chance in hell. No, no. What team are you talking about, Jared? Oh, they You're were talking, talking about, about moving it. some teams out of M tier, and I'm not doing it. All right. What, what other teams you are you thinking about moving around? Should TCU be A tier, I think, is something that uh, Nomad yeah. just said. But I think we already yeah. talked about that. Um, should Illinois be B tier? No. Should Minnesota be B tier? No. Should... Did, did Baylor even play this week? Did they take the week off? Um, so Baylor is going to stay in the mid tier. Texas is going to stay in the mid tier. Um, guys, is anyone in the mid tier who shouldn't be? TCU is better than Tennessee, Nomad says. I don't think not. Mm, I don't know about that. I, I, yeah. TC, okay, you know what? The entire chat is telling us to move TCU to A tier. It's. I think we have to at a certain point. Okay, Gangland disagrees. You all, you all can thank Gangland now. So we're we're keeping TCU in B tier now. <laughs> Not even a doctor. <laughs> move Penn State to A. Yeah. Okay. Tell me who Penn State's beaten. Who has Penn State beaten? They'll they'll move to A if they beat Michigan. Who has I mean, Penn, easily? Who has Penn State played? If TCU isn't A tier, PSU isn't. Okay, yeah, you know that's a decent argument. Moving. Yeah, Penn State's not moving to A tier. Um, I don't I don't know if it achieved what you wanted it to achieve. 
though. Um, Syracuse, are we still feeling? Oh, Utah. U- Utah needs to get out of B tier. Yes. Um, yep. Syracuse, we still feeling good on Syracuse. Uh, they're they're undefeated. Uh. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's good enough for me at this point. Yeah. This deep into the season, that's that's good enough for me. Uh, yeah. To be in B tier. Um, Kansas State. Um, are we still good on Kansas State here? Who did they recently play? Uh, uh, Iowa they, State. They beat them by one. That's right. They played I made Iowa a joke State, about yeah. them wanting to be in the Big Ten. Mm-hmm. Oregon. I mean, Kansas State, State does, does have that win over does have that win over Oklahoma that started the downward spiral for Oklahoma. And they did did beat Texas Tech, who ended up beating Texas. Uh, Can I make an argument to... to move USC out of A? Who has USC beaten? I I think that's the end of his argument. Kyle, who do we have for UCLA? What was the question again? USC, yeah, USC's wins. Uh, Rice, Stanford, Fresno State, Oregon State, Arizona State, and Washington State. Washington State is probably like the best team on that list, which is not saying a lot. Two... uh, uh, they win the, their best win, and they almost lost. I don't, I don't know if I'd say they'd almost lost. Um, they almost lost to Arizona State with Herm. I think that the, a lot of their wins have been convincing. I think they've been doing a good job scoring points. Um, their defense is is kind of shit. USC had to sweat it out against Oregon State. You're telling me their schedule is better than Penn State? No, I didn't say that. That's a straw man. I did not say that. Don't put words in my mouth. You did, though, because they're above on the tier list. No. I think eye test plays into it. Um, Penn State has never looked like good this year, if I'm being honest. I've never watched Penn State and been impressed. Who who, who did... I didn't. I didn't even add them into this list here. Maybe I, maybe I should have. But who 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 did um? Oh no, that, that they didn't play this weekend. They played the previous weekend. Um, who who did um? Penn State recently play. Oh yeah, that that, that was Northwestern, and 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 they killed Northwestern, didn't they? Oh oh, they 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 didn't. They they only won seventeen to seven. The team that Wisconsin just beat 42 to seven. Yeah. So no, I'm not moving Penn State up. Penn State just does not look impressive to me at all. I don't look at Penn State and I I don't see a lot of guys and go, wow, talent. <laughs> like yep. I they just aren't. Um, I don't well, see an individual on that team that scares me. Okay, here, here, here's the difference. Here, here's the difference. If I the mean, argument is you won't move up TCU, uh, 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 I was I was talk- fine moving up TCU. Kyle didn't want to. A lot of people in the chat here are talking about, oh, who has Michigan played? And, uh, and agree, yes, who, who has Michigan really played? But the teams that they've played overall, they've, they've dominated them. Talk about what you want about who they played early on. Yeah, they... they, they Dominated Colorado State, Hawaii, UConn. Yes, and they didn't look so great against Maryland. They they ended up um, beating Iowa, and they struggled against Indiana early, but maybe up for it towards the end against Indiana. They they've taken care of business here, and in eye test, you can see how good, especially on the offensive line, how good in running back, how good Michigan really is. And so. Go along with what Jared said. The eye test shows that, yeah, Michigan is a good team here. But now, but now uh, we're going to really find out how good. I don't know how much really I, I still believe that, though, to be honest. How good this team really is this next weekend uh, against Penn State. I mean, this we will find out who Michigan is this weekend. A- and Penn State, too. Austin, you're basing everything off of strength of schedule, and I don't think it's that simple. Um, I, I think no, I, 
I think I, like this. I can I like watch this a football like game and and figure and figure out. I'm by the way though, Austin. I'm. I have watched TCU. And I have I watched like USC. Our, our tier list here. I'm Jared. not I, against moving TCU up. Kyle's stopping me. I, I like this right now. I like we have we have four teams in in the S tier, and then we have five teams in the A tier, and um, with U, USC, Michigan, Tennessee, Oklahoma State, and UCLA, and then the B tier. You got a bunch of teams that's on that borderline A tier with TCU and Penn State. Um, yeah, I, I, I really, I really like what we have here, Jared. Uh, Spike says, just want to point out that Penn state beat an sec team on the road. And I've been told that that's the most difficult thing to do in college football. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, uh, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to have you know what? more teams in the, you know AT what, you know what Z spikes. Jared. They beat an SEC team on the road, Kyle. That makes them goaded. Uh, all right. I know, but uh, Auburn gangland, I was having fun. Um, Kyle, I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to give you one more shot here. TCU Day. I'm going to I'm going to turn that to you. Why? You convince me now, Jared. You you're wanting to move a team up so you convince me. I, I I gave my opinion about TCU, so now you have to now you have to tell me why TCU goes up to A tier. I, I want to hear say, it, I want to hear it from I want to hear it from Jared Austin. I want to hear it from Jared. I think that they have wins that are on par with the other teams in A tier. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's my argument. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. I, th about, I think if you if you look at their, if you compare like their best wins against other teams in A tier, I just how how do we differentiate between say moving UCLA up versus moving TCU up? They both had ranked on ranked this week they both won their ranked on ranked this week um similar point margins um similar strength of schedule overall i'm just saying if we moved ucla up why not also tcu no you you, you tell me you, you you have to convince me jared not just not just answer it with a question you tell me I think I made the case. I think there's a comp. We made the case for UCLA to move up. And I'm telling you and that the, and that case, that case is equally applicable to TCU. I'm saying we have precedent. Is it? But uh, the wins line up the wins, line up the wins. Okay. So TCU has played Colorado. Okay. I don't even know who this team is. Uh, FCS, just say FCS school. FCS, SMU, who they barely beat. Uh, and then Oklahoma and Kansas. Okay. And by the way, slaughtered Oklahoma. Now, I guess Oklahoma has now been slaughtered twice in a row. So for whatever that's worth, but yeah. And... UCLA has beat Bowling Green, Alabama State, South Alabama. They, I'm guessing they want Alabama next. Uh, <laughs> um, they've also played Colorado, so there's a there's a neutral game there. Uh, Washington and Utah. Washington and Utah, I think, are two excellent wins, and I think that are com pretty comparable to TCU's recent wins. And if you compare that and the about the score, di the score differential was about the same, by the way, uh, with Colorado. Yep. 38 to 13 for TCU and UCLA had 45 to 17. So, yeah, pretty close. Are you convinced?
Kyle, I'm going to need an answer. You're leaving too much dead air on the podcast. I know. Yeah. Let's let's get let's give the fans what they want. Such a such a tepid response. I'm thinking that a good case was laid out, and then you have to like fold don't, your arms. Don't say and... I didn't do. Don't say I didn't do anything for you. All right, no more movements. That's it. <laughs> that is it. All right. Team Kyle, why are you drop a Team Kyle? I'm the one that went to bat. He's the one that begrudgingly. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Uh, so this you know, is what, our... you know what, Kyle? You you end the podcast. Remember the band I have picked out is Portage. You go. And, they don't want me. You just go ahead and end the podcast without me. Why, why don't Why don't you type that in there so I so I can see that right? And I'll I'll do the I'll do the end spiel here. So yeah, that was our tier list, which uh, Jared just put away there. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, yeah, uh, be sure if you haven't, um, already followed us on, on Twitter, um, we're not really on Twitter as much, um, more, more so hit us up on, uh, discord that is discord.thesloopcast.com. Uh, it's pretty much a, a, a private, uh, place to chat with us, uh, hang out with us during the football games, a lot of fun, a lot of interaction there, uh, if you really like what you see there and want to get some behind the behind the scenes um, conversations going on, uh, patreon.thesloopcast.com is where you can go to become a Patreon and um, be um, join these um, Sloop Cats down in the chat here during our live uh, episodes here. And just find everything else over at thesloopcast.com. Um, Jared, you still haven't written the, uh, the artist or the song here. <laughs> yes, I did. I did it in the, in the live chat. Ah, okay. All right. Portage. Uh, so, it's Portage. All right. So, uh, tonight's ending episode is by Portage. Ending music. What? Ending what? music. It's the music ending the episode. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Make sure to uh, tell them about the Patreon. Already dead, Jared. <laughs> All right. Um, God, you, you, you made me lose my thought, Jared. Oh, I'm sorry. I never have to deal with distractions. <laughs> what? Finish the episode, Kyle. All right. Uh, with that being said, <laughs> be sure to drink local beer, listen to local music, and support your favorite your favorite podcasters. Once again, this it's is Kyle. Apparently, <laughs> once again, this is Patriot Portage. The name of the band is Portage. <laughs> <laughs>